Hi peeps, Junction 6 here with another in the VNC Power Series. Although this one is going to be mainly about reading this screen and working together. As you can see there, they've got a Dracula and an E25. Two really fast tanks. So they're going to be across the river before we can get there with our meds. We've got a lot of slow tanks. So we really don't want to be contesting that C cap at all. We need to be going to A and B. And as you can see there, our meds have said A, B. Uh, yeah, I mean, everybody's agreeing, apart from the J Panther, who's going to go to C. Now I'm coming this way because I'm going to go to B, but I want to try and spot anyone at C as I go past. As you can see there what Slavy's saying, C without meds is a loss, go to B, which is what I'm going to do, I say affirmative. The J Panther on the other side, on our side thinks differently, Slavy says J Panther, OMG. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens to him, won't we? I bounced one on the tracks there, but at least I spotted someone, and there's the M6. Slavy's come across. Uh, to cover the A cap, you can see the M6, which has been uh, spotted by me. He's going to come down. The M6 is coming down, so he can put a shot into him. The J Panther goes down, pretty obvious, really. And Slavy says Unicum like that. He's going to continue on through the B cap and give me a hand by getting behind this guy. I've come up. I can see we've got a med with me. Come round, hopefully put a shot into this M6, which I've done. Now I want to go forward and block him, stop him. Back over Slavy, he can get behind him and take him out. Looks like most of the reds have rotated through our spawn. So we need to take up some defensive positions. Slavy comes around, there's a tiger, exchange shots with him and back up. Over to me, I can see where Slavy is, he's taking up that position on the corner. The tiger's the target, so we'll both put one into him. Back up, out the way, stay under cover. Anticipating that tiger's going to try and come behind him. So I'm going to stay here and cover Slavy. Oh, cockroach. We'll uh, keep an eye on Slavy's back. They're all to our left, so we've got hard cover. Well, there's a cockroach again. Got him. No, don't know where that shot went. That might be costly. Over to Slavy. He's watching out, keeping his corner, keeping his ass, his big American ass, hidden as much as he can when he's on his reload. As you can see, backs up, covers that big American butt. Can we get another one in? Is that the guy from Coldport? Bigger Max, yeah. Take shots while you can. Backs up again. There's that E25. Over to me. Let's say I'm over here covering the rear of Slavy. See this E25 itching to come round. Put a shot into him. Now he would have been dead if that other shot would have hit. Back to Slavy, he's seen that E25. Uh, he's going to rotate round. There's a tiger, take him out. And then push on through. Back to me. I've seen that Slavy's made a move, so I'm going to go for this E25. Yeah, we can finish him off. There's two tanks left. The Dracula, who we said kill first, he's still alive. I need to get rid of this Pantera thing. And he's gone. So there's only the one tank left. The one which Slavy said to kill first is obviously the last one alive. We've got caps. We're up on points. We just need to get this guy. I'm trying to bait him to come out. He's going to fall for it and Slavy can take him out. 
Yeah, of course it was a victory. And it is VNC power, not fantastic damage. But at least we played Port Bay differently. We didn't just go to the sea cap and contest that. We both managed to get a brother in arms because we killed two each. Port Bay played differently.